introducing the Flipjig Multifunctional Drill Guide from Keytech UK. This compact tool is designed for the zip bolt range of stair connectors, streamlining the installation process. The jig comes complete with a set of four drill guides from 6.5 to 12 millimeters. There are a number of preset markings for the gear housing positions and a sliding scale. With the filler strip removed, position the flip jig centrally on the underside of the handrail and mark using the 85mm preset. Using a 25mm Forstner or shallow point spade bit, drill to a depth of around 35mm. Using the 8.5mm drill guide, set the sliding scale to 24mm. Be sure to use the infill strip in order to drill the hole in the correct position on the handrail. Bread point bits are recommended. Drill to a depth of around 90mm. Cut the handrail to the correct angle for your staircase and measure the distance from the top of the handrail to the centre of the hole, 47mm in this case. Mark the desired position for the top of the handrail onto the newel post. Add to this the measurement taken in the last step. This will give the centre point for the fixing. Square along the post. This enables you to line up the drill guide. Measure the width of the newel post. Using the 6.5mm drill guide, set the flip jig to half this dimension. Drill out the 6.5mm hole and screw in the angled slip fix. A 7mm hole may be required for hardwood posts. Slide the handrail onto the joint. As you can see, everything lines up with the top marking. Balance the gear housing onto the drill driver and slide over the thread to secure in place. On the underside of the handrail, with the filler strip removed, make a mark 100mm from the end of the handrail. Ensure that the handrail is cut squarely and to the desired length. Using a 25mm drill, bore a hole to a depth of around 35mm. Fit a 10mm drill guide onto the jig and set to 24mm. Drill the 10mm hole to a depth of around 100mm into the end of the handrail. The depth of this hole is important to ensure the connector shaft has sufficient clearance for various stair angles. This depth may need to increase if stairs are particularly steep. Cut the handrail to the correct angle and insert the slip fix shaft into the 10mm hole. Attach the gear housing, take up the slack with a drill driver. Clip the keyhole plate onto the end and lightly tension. Measure the distance from the secured keyhole plate to the bottom of the handrail. Mark the bottom of the handrail on the newel post. Square across and add 12mm to the keyhole plate measurement. Mark the centre line and drill out a 25mm hole to a depth of around 7mm. This ensures the plate is seated just below the surface. Insert the keyhole plate and secure with the two screws provided. Couple the handrail fixing to the plate like so and tension with the Allen key provided. The joint may be glued at this stage but is optional as the zip bolt offers a secure mechanical fixing. For the straight slip fix, mark the underside of the handrail using the 38mm preset. Drill a 25mm hole to a depth of around 35mm. Set the 10mm drill guide to 24mm on the sliding scale. Drill the 10mm hole to a depth of around 40mm. Mark the centre of the newel post. Mark the position of the bottom of the handrail and add a line 28mm above this. Drill a 25mm hole for the keyhole plate to a depth of around 7mm. This ensures the plate is seated just below the surface. Fix in position with the two screws provided.
insert the straight slip fix shaft into the 10mm hole and connect the gear housing as shown. Locate the connector into the keyhole plate and tension with your drill driver. The flip jig is also designed to aid the installation of newel posts. Mark the centre of the newel post. The 45mm preset is perfectly suited for standard 90mm square posts. Install the 12mm guide bush and set to the centre of the newel post. We recommend a 12mm auger bit for this task. Drill the post to a depth of around 150mm. Lubricate the UT post fastener with some wax. Using the zip bolt 10mm deep socket driver, screw the fastener into the newel post or joist depending on the application. Mark the centre of the newel post to be joined. Using a 14 or 16mm bit, drill to a depth of around 125mm. Mark the centre line of the post face Using these surfaces, lay the flip jig against the newel post, mark the 125mm position using the notch at the end of the jig. Drill a 35-38mm to 38 millimeter diameter hole to a depth of around 55mm or 10mm deeper than the centre point of the newel post. You can adjust the depth of the fixing using either a 10mm open-ended or ring spanner. Ensure the post slides on with ease. Pop the gear housing onto the shaft and tighten with a supplied T40 Torx bit. For more information on the complete range of connectors, visit keytechuk.com.